what's happened to fellas. Feast your eyes on this classic. What an absolute work of art. It, it, and you know, as, as I was riding it around, I was like, this thing is more of a piece of artwork now than it is. It's almost too nice to ride. If you haven't seen the photo shoot on it that Kenny did down in the museum, it is absolutely off the hook. Check it out at KaplanCycles.com. If it's still for sale, it'll be on there. This is a 76 Mako 400. This is the wide ratio version. This came from Mako Marty, our friend down in North Carolina, had a collection of Makos we purchased, including the, uh, the, the new liquid cooled 500, the uh, 490 Sand Spider, and then the Black Widowmaker that we bought from him. This one here um, has just been gone through by the shop. We didn't have to do a whole lot to it. Marty had already rebuilt it, and uh, it's an excellent original condition. The original wheels are nice and straight. If you look at the photo shoot, Kenny, show them the frame rails on this thing. There's not a ding in the frame rails. They're absolutely perfectly straight. Uh, the pegs are nice and straight. All the cycle parts are, are, are really nice on it. Uh, the original uh, foot pegs, uh, the original brake lever, the, um, if you zoom in on those, you'll see they're, they're not bent or messed up. All the original hardware is in good shape. The original gas tank is, that is truly a work of art. It is, shines like chrome. That's an aluminum, polished aluminum gas tank. And on here, it's got the Federation International Motorcyclisti Mako uh, 1973 champion, uh, was world champion in 73. The Mako graphics are, are beautiful. Um, it has a brand new set of Renthal bars on here, brand new Renthal crossbar pad, new URI grips. It's got new Magura clutch and brake levers, a new compression release, a new kill switch. It has a new front fender on there. The original, like I said, the original rim and forks on this are in excellent condition. There's no crash damage on the forks. The, the tire shows no, um, no uh, uh, damage from, from rocks or anything like that. This has got to be a very low hour original to have the original cycle parts look as good as they do. The cylinder fins are in excellent condition. Uh, no bent fins on this side. The original engine cases and engine covers are, are mint, as is the uh, original intake, airbox, and carburetor. Uh, the side panels are, are new. The rear fender is new. The seat's got new seat foam and a new seat cover. The exhaust has been repainted. The cylinder head's been repainted. The side covers have been painted. The swing arm and frame have been repainted. It's got a nice set of S&W shocks on it. A uh, new gold chain on it, uh, has a, a nice set of Maxxis tires on it. Um, <clears throat> June, you want to add anything about this? Yeah, GS400, we very rarely, I don't think we have a single GS400 featured on our channel, probably lower production than the MC model. It's just that classic metal coffin tank style from Mako, the late twin shock cone hub models are few and far between, this is a 76 model, Colt following behind these. And, uh, you know, Mako was one of the only European brands that really lasted until the, the end of, of the 70s and beyond because the Japanese were coming on so strong. But Mako had a good thing going. Uh, and you see that when you look at vintage racing. Um, open classes are dominated by European bikes, specifically the, the Mako MC400. It's a, this is the five-speed wide ratio transmission. I couldn't get it out of fourth in the driveway here. Um, <clears throat> I can only imagine what it's like in fifth gear. When you drove it by, it has an incredible exhaust sound on it. It just sounds really deep and throaty, uh, part and parcel of being a, a, a big 400cc, big bore two-stroke. I got the service work order here. Uh, they went right through the bike, did a compression test, uh, put a new spark plug in it, new spark plug cap. The carb was completely gone through, cleaned and tuned. The needle clip was adjusted. The fuel tank was cleaned inside. Uh, and um, <clears throat> they put new fuel lines on it, new carb vent lines, put a new uni air filter uh, filter in it. Uh, it's got VP110, ethanol-free fuel mixed 40 to 1. It's got new MTL gear oil. They adjusted the drive chain, uh, new Renthal RC handlebars I mentioned already, the crossbar pad, the grips, the levers, adjusted all the hand controls, adjusted the rear brake, did a full nut and bolt check over that means they torque down every nut and bolt on there uh set the tire pressures test wrote it and te technicians note so as it runs great so as as i concur it, it uh, runs excellent i uh, went through the detail shop where it was a steam cleaned washed buffed waxed detailed they did a minor touch up on it um it has new number plate backgrounds on there which were designed by by christy steiger uh, new mako graphics on the tank all, all those are all, all all new designed by christy also as I mentioned uh, earlier, you see cover, I kind of covered most of that already. So full, what we call a rotisserie detail. Ronnie, who's been with us for years, he's a, one, our detail shop manager himself, spent eight hours on this, a full day on it, given, you know, every, every uh, you know, ro rotisserie detail on top to bottom, the bottom, the engine cases are spotless from the top to the bottom, everything's super clean on it. And uh, she's a beauty. 
uh, they spent 11 and a half hours in the service department going through the bike, getting it all dialed in mechanically. Total of 19 and a half hours labor plus parts. Uh, the work order came out to $2,070, and it's ready to go, ready to go to mid-Ohio and line up to race or roll it into a museum to display because it really is an absolutely gorgeous piece. If you have any questions about it, give us a call at 860-454-7024. Be happy to uh, answer any questions you have or help you arrange shipping. So <clears throat> really would like to give it a fifth gear drive-by. It's easy to start. Typical big bore, just kick it to top dead center and 